Hey folks, Stuart Duncan here. We've gathered to explore some of the options on uh, miking an old time banjo, or claw hammer banjo as it's called by some. I have here a brand new Deering Vega Vintage Star banjo, and it's got um, what a lot of old timers like these days is a, a bridge that's placed closer to the center of the head than a lot of banjos, which is nice for the good open sound. And a lot of, uh, it's got the Vega star happening on the peg head in the fifth fret, which we like. And unlike vintage Vegas, it has a, a tenth fret inlay instead of a ninth fret, which is really nice when you get up there and forget that you're on a vintage Vega. So thank them for that. And uh, we're also uh, exploring uh, ribbon microphones with an old time banjo here. We have a Royer. This is a uh, 122V tube ribbon microphone. And uh, I've loved Royer microphones in the studio for, for many years now. So here's a version of the Arkansas Traveler played on this Deering banjo over a Royer microphone. And uh, I'm going to try a couple of things here. Uh, a lot of old time players like to put a, put a small dampening mute inside the banjo cotton rag will work. So here's the first half of Arkansas Traveler without one and the second half with. Sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, I'll put a microphone behind an open back banjo to capture what's going on coming out of the back of the banjo. In this case, it's a Royer 121 ribbon microphone. In the front, we have a 122V tube ribbon microphone. For 30 years now, I've been like, astounded by every time somebody puts up a ribbon microphone how much I like it better than other microphones. Something about the way the air hits it, I guess, uh, the, the sound vibrations coming through the air. It's, it's all good. 